That's what it is. Ready? Let's see yep. if mommy's still in there. Alright, guys. You get up here, you can see. So we were choking on the lemon smell. Yeah. There's mommy. Here, let me turn that. There we go. There mommy is. Okay, catch and release program, wrench bender style. Uh, right there beside you, Kagan. Oh. Well, now. Retire farm away from the Jeep. That's the important part. Ah, oh, right underneath my truck. guys we got uh, got some snow on the farm here and uh, when it snows it need, gets cold yeah you need four-wheel drive and uh, this has been sitting here for a while so hold on <laughs> you can actually document how long it has been here with the classic Jeep oil leak underneath it oh yeah so as you can see if you count the rings and the oil spill, <laughs> it actually has been here for roughly yeah, about two rear years. Rear main seal could probably use replacing, but this uh, this Jeep has sit here for like two years, and yeah, uh, count the rings. Yeah, and we have a problem. There has been a rodent infestation, so uh, we had some critters that in there and there's some more right back in there as oh, you guys can see that or not turn the light on here maybe that'll it stinks and i know you guys can't smell that but trust me it's there with your lights on look at that another critter those ones have been in here dead for a little bit i put some new traps in we didn't get any more so there's some more over on the other side so it's dead you got some stuff over there no the smell hit me oh the smell hit you oh yeah. there's one right there yeah go in there Yep. So we are going to clean this thing out. I've got some Lysol mixture. We're going to disinfect the inside of it. Can Lysol put a, freeze? Huh? <laughs> we'll find out. It ain't too warm, guys, just so you know. We'll get this thing cleaned out, check the oil in it, fire it up, see if it'll even run, because it literally has not been started in like two years. And uh, there's a banner underneath all the snow on the front of it to a particular club that I might be a member of. And if you guys are watching this, I know you're ready to see this thing get cleaned off and probably gripe at me some, so. And no, I know what you're thinking. It is not the Mouseketeers. Every once in a while, Kagan has a good idea. So, <laughs> the Walt Disney family, after moving in here... They uh, ain't all out yet. I know they ain't all out yet. We still got a duck and a dog to go through. Anyway, uh, they were everywhere in here, and they ate pretty much whatever they could, and you know what eating comes with. Yeah, there's a bunch of junk so, there, and some poop in the seats, and I still got some more stuff to drag out of the other side. So I had the foresight to ask him, how are we going to get this out? So he ran and got a shop back because that's what I asked if he had. He's so proud of himself right now because he had a good idea. So Listen, this has been a weird month so far. 2021 is turning out to be a weird year. He's already said I'm right like four times and he's toned down on the, ins the insults a little bit. It's just it's weird <laughs> so so we'll uh, get started shop back and then I'll get to the other side keep going oh yeah by the way guys 
this uh, organization he was talking about earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I cleaned off the windshield. Yeah. Kagan was able to brush stuff off here. Mid Ohio Jeepers organization. Yeah, I know we're in Southern Ohio, but they allowed me in anyways. So. They just make fun of them for talking funny. <laughs> Here's my question. The wet spot down here in the floorboard? Uh, that's actually where the mouse trap kind of got hot and oozed out. The glue. That's what that is. Oh, so it's glue? Yeah, it's mouse trap glue. All right, I was going to ask if it was a mouse mess or decomposition. So Probably a little of both. Okay. You know, you got to make sure you clean up all the juices. <laughs> all right, Kagan. Without cursing, tell me how you feel. Kind of terrible. Kind of terrible. What'd you do? I broke up the family a little bit. Broke up the family? You home wrecker? <laughs> <laughs> so. Just get a shot of the just kid. Just get a shot of the kid. Kagan may have sucked up a live one. <laughs> it, it showed up in there underneath the seat when he lifted the seat and he just sucked it right up. One problem is, is, uh, I think it was mommy. Cause that one's still alive. Ah, oh, great! Now the channel's gonna get flagged from Peta. Look at that mouse nest there. Yeah, Peta'll be getting a hold of us. Great. Well, guys, it was a nice run while it lasted. We're gonna get taken down for animal cruelty. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me just go ahead and hold the camera on this. I'll turn the shop back back on. Go ahead and have at that. See what happens. There might be another one hiding in there. There might be. Here we go. They didn't like that. Little bites, Kagan, little bites. Go that to the shop back. Let's clog. <laughs> we had a clog, right? So I gotta fix it. Problem is, I went to lift the top off. Mommy's still in there. And she's still moving around pretty good. Here she is, see her? Well, doesn't look like she's happy. Would you be? Well, no, I mean, technically that was, uh, she'd just mind her own business and then something nabbed her up, probably going about 60, 70 miles an hour. She's a squatter. I want to say it so bad. What? <laughs> no, because we got to edit it out if I do. I think the uh, vacuum cleaner's back in business now. I'm not getting her out yet. I'll leave her there. I just want to get the clog out. Let's finish this job up. All right, guys. If I let her out now, she'll get back in the Jeep. We're just going to stick this up here while we go ahead and uh, help organize the family reunion. Hold tight, guys. All right, so if you're going to go trail riding, because that's what we did with this Jeep, was trail ride with it. You got all kinds of stuff you keep in the back of it. I got my, my hip waders there. And then... Uh, tools, different fluids, oil, transmission fluid, that kind of stuff. Got me an 8 inch drop hitch because if I did haul my little trailer with it, the, uh, the the rear hitch is a little high off the ground. And I, Kagan got the back end of it uh, cleaned out here. Turn the light on there. So got the back end of it vacuumed out. So now here's the next trick. So uh, Kagan, if you would, take this and follow me. So, we need to disinfect the inside of it because just vacuuming it out is probably not good enough with mice, urine, and poop, and everything else. Oh, look, and there's junk up on top of the engine. I wonder how much wiring harness they've ate. Uh, we'll find out. I don't see nothing evident right now. So, anyways, so we need to disinfect the inside of it. And this right here would be good, right? Some dis can of disinfectant spray. That's not nearly enough to do it all. I have to buy a case of this stuff to make that happen. So, I've done this. I bought a thing of concentrated Lysol. 
like a gallon of it and this is a gallon garden pump sprayer and I, a half of its Lysol and the other half of its water so it's mixed pretty heavy and now we'll pump it up and uh, how about let's not turn it on already yeah let's not, let's not do that give me some pressure here we're going to disinfect the inside of the Jeep with a pump sprayer. If we can figure out how to work a pump sprayer. Oh, I know how to work a pump sprayer. We're good. Okay. <clears throat> Look at that fog in action. It'll be lemony fresh when we're done here. Oh, Make sure and get that glove box really good. Can't see it fogging. Can't see it fogging? Or nesting, whatever Look you Look at that. I guess the appropriate term would be nesting. Yeah. And it's cold out here, so this might freeze for it's all said and done. Definitely want to get the seats real good. I don't care if they're wet. I mean, it's half water, so it probably will freeze. Yeah. Just to be on the safe side, I'd hit that uh, glue spot down there just to. Hit the glue spot? Yeah, just to. Yeah, there's probably mouse guts in there. You guys, besides the giant nest that I found up underneath the seat, there's also one that, uh, not gonna lie, I did not realize it was a mouse. And I was like, what the heck is that thing holding on? Looked kind of like the same color as a leaf, a dead leaf. And I thought, that possibly can't be a thing of beef jerky. <laughs> it was not. underneath the seat real good. Well, I suppose we'll give you an update here in a second. Yeah, after I get done folding everything down because it needs it bad. All right, I finished spraying everything out and, and Kagan couldn't help himself. He just had to come check the oil. So, see if I can... We think it's about half a quart low, which is impressive considering I'd the leak is underneath quarter. of it. I would say a quarter. So we'll put a little bit of oil in there and then we'll get to changing the battery out. Uh, in case you guys is wondering, it is a hybrid. I know some of you guys went, it's a what? The sticker on the back. It's a hybrid. You know, that's kind of a poorly timed joke with uh, GM and Ford announcing that they're going to go all electric. Well, this one burns gas and oil. Okay, that's what the sticker says. So, and I've got enough Lysol that it is uh, puddled in the rubber mat area and it is just wet on everything. And I don't care because I would rather it kill everything that was in there. We'll worry about how wet everything is later. So. So anyways, we'll get set up, change battery out, and see if it'll start. Because, keep in mind, been sitting for two years with a family of mice in it, and I hope the wiring harness is intact. We'll see. Guys, I went and grabbed my uh, adjustable hammer for my truck. Listen, man, don't round off the nuts, whatever you do. <laughs> the reason why I love these things is if you can't turn it, you can at least hit it. I got some wrenches back here, Kagan. Well, I mean, I'm getting it. Okay. Not like I'm not getting it, I'm just making jokes about it. He just didn't want to touch the wrenches that had Lysol all over him. He's afraid it might kill him. Dude, it has sat here so long that my water pump pulley, which is supposed to be smooth on the back of it, got rust. Yeah. I bet you it won't slip. <laughs> it's a textured water pump pulley. It would probably also help if I didn't have a 12 inch. Somewhere in this mess, there's a wrench to fit that. And that's an 8, which you probably not nope. Here's another crescent wrench, it's a little smaller. Until I find the right thing. This right here is what you call a lemon scented tapper. <laughs> what? 
A lemon scented tapper. A lemon scented tapper? The wrench? Yeah. Hey, I got one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Needs a new ground terminal. See that? Not really. Your hand's in the way. Here, get a good look at it now. And of course, one nut's a different size than the other one. That's how that would go, huh? It's your Jeep. What does that say about you? Really? Half inch? I got half inch in this hand. 7 sixteenths in this one. It's 12. <laughs> yeah. Man. Are you kidding me? No, I actually told him. I'm that. not talking about that. The 12 is too small. That means the half inch should have worked. <clears throat> Explain that to me, Kagan. I couldn't get the box in on it, but I can use the other end. <clears throat> Well, maybe somebody mangled it with a crescent wrench. Or, hear me out. <laughs> or, hear you out, huh? It is actually a 12, but where it's set for two years with no feed to it, it shrank. Maybe. The positive post is one with the battery. Need to go get a tapping tool. You got a tapping tool right over there. I was talking about a real tapping tool. That is a real tapping tool. There's a flat surface that you can hit things with. Okay. I really wanted to freak you out. I'd go get a ratchet strap and we'd change the battery. <laughs> By the way, guys, it's a better battery. Oh, yeah? Okay. That came off. Put that back on. Okay. Off to a good start. You make sure that you're. You got that screw on the other side. I'll get these started, but I'm not going to like tighten them down yet because I get the ends on and we'll see if the thing will start. Then we'll worry about making sure everything's tight, you know, because that's that's not as important. I, I hear a beeper from the door. There's hope. Where's the key? It's in the ignition. Let me get clear first. What do you mean let you get clear? You're not even by a pulley or anything. Give me a second. All right, tight enough. Let you do the honors. That fan. I gotta look at what's going on here. The crank took off running, but the uh, belt wouldn't turn. I don't know why. I so, bet you I know exactly why. What's that? I bet your water pump shot. No, it, it turned. It didn't turn? Yeah, look, see the pulley's turned. That will be a good turn. Pulley wasn't turning. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and uh, start back up again. Give me a 
second, hold on, not yet. I'll take the ground off that. Alright, go ahead. Man, just as you turn it off, it started to... Here, hold on. What'd you pull it? Water pump? I don't know. They're all hooked together. Well, I know they're all hooked together, but you should be able to see if one... Do it again, because it started to turn. You Maybe it'll it. take off here in a second. You or do it. Me do it? You do it. Water pump. It didn't turn at all. Your alternator didn't turn. Your fan started to, but your AC compressor didn't. Let's uh, let me get something to pry off. Let's see. Oh, oh, no. What? <coughs> Belt smoking? <coughs> what? It just seized. <coughs> did it start did it start to turn? Started to. Oh man. What? Scare you? No, I in <coughs> inhaled a little bit of smoke. Oh. And it's cold. Let me try it again. It's a little smoky in here from what it's uh, bringing off the engine, but shows we got a half tank, charging good. We're up to temp. We're up to temp, and we're not. Ooh, that's just. Thank you. They tried. Okay, and we got frozen Lysol everywhere, and it smells like a mixture of lemony fresh and uh, mouse in here. So, let's see if we've got drive. So we got headlights. By golly, we got headlights and dash came on. <laughs> I can't see nothing. Sorry guys, don't mean to turn, the, turn that light off. Don't mean to bounce around, but there really isn't a place to set you. I can't see. I can't see. Turn it on there. My little boy is going to be so happy when he sees the Jeep back in action. I probably will Lysol it again, of course, I'll set it up. I really wish I could roll the window back And we got brakes, but it's slick. The brakes are working. That's a good thing, right? They're not dragging. By the way, in case you guys are wondering about this, we didn't like move it or anything else. Flat spots on the tires. Or test it or anything <laughs> else. We literally just hopped in this. It's riding like a hay wagon. And decided we would go. I don't know if you guys can hear that thud, 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 thud. It's flat spots on the tires. Well, considering I got this resting on my shoulder, they can see us bouncing. Now, we're only in two-wheel drive. Of course, it does have a posi rear end. That helps. No, you didn't weld it. You put a. No, it's a Ford Explorer limited slip. So. And we're. So I could probably try to make it up without it, but I want to see if four wheel drive works. So. Okay. We're good.
just leave it running and get out for a second. Couldn't tell if it was fog or the smoke. <laughs> so Kagan has to jump to get in and out of the Jeep. I'm sure. But uh, here we are. It's almost dark. We got a few more things to kind of clean up our mess, but the Jeep's running, driving, much to my surprise. So uh, Kagan, any words of wisdom? Um, best way to separate a family is a shop vac. <laughs> That'll do it. Guys, uh, if you don't mind, uh, hit that subscribe button down there. Give us a like. Right? And watch out for future uh, revival videos and Jeep build videos. Are you suggesting that you have something you would like to revive from sitting for years? Uh, it, it, I do, and it's been sitting for a little bit longer than the Jeep has. It's a little unclimactic, huh? So, guys, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. And uh, there is something else planned for the Jeep. This is only the start. We want to get it rolling. Now it's taken to the garage time. See you later.